Welcome to another episode of Ship of War, my review of Elysium. Ship of War. When ship happens, I'm there. Elysium takes place in 2154, starring Matt Damon, or as I like to call him, Matt Damon, Jodie Foster, and also the actor from District 9, who I do not know his name, but I love his South African accent. And the movie is also directed by the same director who directed District 9, Neil Blomkamp. I have to honestly say that my expectations going into this movie were pretty low because really, I wasn't really hyping up this movie myself. I saw the trailer, I thought it looked beautiful, but I thought, you know, story-wise, this can be a hit or miss. And I have to say, I'm happy to report that I actually really enjoyed its film. Visually, the movie is stunning, especially when they're on Elysium, where I feel like Ariel from The Little Mermaid, and I just want to be a part of that world because it's so gorgeous, and it's so clean, and it's just, it's a very beautiful place. Also, there's also very great visual effects when it comes to the fighting, the technology, the robots, the spaceships, like all that stuff is just so clean. The, the visual effects in this movie are so clean. It's pretty damn good. As for the movie itself, I don't want to give too much away, but I want to say that the movie, I liked the story because it had a very political tone to it. It was definitely class warfare, something that we experience here at this moment in time right now um, for those who are about you know social issues here in the United States or just political things you'll watch this movie and you'll be like yeah I can see how if we continue the way we are right now that it can possibly lead to a future as what this movie is showing so this movie has that tone to it and I like that type of you know political thinking that social issue problems that like they're trying to bring out to the light and I know there's a lot of people who don't like those political you know things shoved down their throat especially in movies they just want to sit and enjoy I can see people not enjoying the movie because of that aspect as for the romance in the movie there's a really sweet love story in a way in this movie I personally really enjoyed it it was one of those things that made me enjoy the movie as overall also being a Hispanic and knowing the Spanish language is very helpful while watching this movie because this movie has a lot of transition from English to Spanish and it also has a little bit of transition to French so if you know French, you know Spanish, and you know English there's no subtitle reading for you. For me, I didn't have to read the subtitles when I was speaking Spanish so that was great which may be a reason why people may not like the movie because there's too much subtitles especially people who are going into a movie wanting action and they're like reading too much subtitle but then again District 9 had a lot of subtitles and people like that, so I'm just weighing the pros and cons that may factually end up, you know, being the reason why people may not like this movie. But overall, I really enjoyed this movie. I definitely recommend this movie to anybody who was looking forward to it. Go see it. So that is all for this episode of Ship of War. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. First news is coming out of Thor The Dark World, and it is a cast poster of the 